Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Jay Arena. So before everyone had smartphones, one of the main ways people would transfer information to one another was the radio. And there have been some really scary messages that have gone through the old timey device. That's why today we're counting down the top 10 scary radio transmissions. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. And stick around for the top three, because I want to know which order you guys would put them in. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10. Yo Samity Sam. If you don't know who Yo Samity Sam is, he's the rootin' tootin' cowboy from Looney Tunes who's always trying to kill Bugs Bunny and probably has the best mustache in the game. Here's, you better know who you're dealing with. I'm the hootin'est, tootin'est, shootin'est, bobtail wildcat in the west. Now what does he have to do with radio transmissions? Well back in 2004, some people started picking up a radio signal with his voice on it. It was right before Christmas and if you turned it to the right frequency, just then you would hear him say, Varmint, I'm gonna blow you to smithereens. Varmint, I'm gonna blow you to smithereens. This would repeat about every 50 seconds. This is obviously very strange. Was this a subtle marketing ploy by Warner Brothers to try and make Looney Tunes relevant again? Well, it managed to grab the attention of a couple radio jockeys and they went investigating. They were able to trace the signal back all the way back to its original location. The jockeys were in San Diego in California and they traced it all the way back to Albuquerque in New Mexico. It was coming from a US Army base known as Matic or the mobility Assessment Test and Integration Center. This is a military base used to test many different military systems. Once the signal was traced back, the transmission stopped altogether and any information about it disappeared. And I'm sure the two radio jockeys know how to mind their own business now. Number nine, the two tones. If you're ever vacationing in Russia, or just flying out to visit everyone's pal Vladimir Putin, then you might be able to tune in to the following signal. The two-tone signal, or as it's also known, the squeaky wheel, surfaced in 2000. It was a station that used a very plain dual signal tone. Let's have a listen. The rumor is it's been running from a Russian military base and the never ending alarm clock noise is used to keep the line open in case they need it to send out emergency messages to military forces. However, there are some pretty juicy conspiracy theories about the channel, like the constant signal is being sent out to space in some way to communicate with extraterrestrial life, or that the Russians have been using the frequency as some way to communicate with the dead. Who really knows? Next time you're in Russia, ask old Vladdy Poots and I'm sure he'll tell you. Number eight, the gong. Tensions between America and Russia have always been high. They built their countries on two different ideals. Russia has communism and bear circuses, and America has capitalism and literally zero bear circuses. But after World War II, up until about the 70s, some signal would pop up all over the world. It was thought to be a Russian ploy to mess with America. It was a radio station that would play a gong. And then after, it would play some Russian chanting. It's still a mystery to this day as to what the gong station was. There are many theories as to why this happened. Most people who have gone digging into this think it was Russia's way of flexing on the whole world, showing them that they could put out a signal anywhere they wanted at any time they wanted to. Some people have gone deeper down the rabbit hole and think the signal was a way to wake up Russian sleeper agents that were all over the world. So winter soldiers would just stop popping up and doing their job that they're supposed to do that we don't know what it's supposed to be. But no one really knows. Number seven, the never ending station. Here's another one that comes straight out of Mother Russia. It seems that Russia has been planning to do something huge that's gonna come through every car radio that was made before 2005. Well, this next one is known as the PIP or the drop. The reason we call it this is because it's a never ending station that has a PIP going solid with no breaks since 1986. That's putting in some huge overtime. All day it stays on one frequency and makes one continuous noise. And then at night, it switches to a different frequency and continues with the same noise. Every so often, it's interrupted by someone talking in Russian.
From what I researched, it seems the station is used by the Russian government. But on the more conspiracy theory side of things, people think it's not the Russian government at all, but Russian rebel forces using the station as a way to send coded messages to each other. Number six. The Backwards Music Station. This one is very strange because unlike the others, there's no clear message. I know the name is the Backwards Music Station, but that's just the name that they gave it. It doesn't play music at all. It's just these creepy noises with no explanation. <laughs> I think people named it this just so they could make some sense of it. The station could be found randomly all over America and Europe until 2009. It might still be active, but there haven't been any reports since then. There are no confirmed explanations for this one. The more grounded theories suggest that it's some sort of magnetic interference. But you don't come to most amazing top 10 for grounded theories on things. My favorite one is that it's a signal from aliens that is a mind control noise. Aliens are using a strange frequency to take over people's bodies to spy on us. I don't know, maybe. Number five, cosmonaut call out. If you're a radio DJ, and you guessed it, Russia, things must be very stressful. You're constantly getting jumbled messages, strange frequencies, and I bet if you say the wrong thing they fire you and then you get 10 years of hard labor. But apparently you could also get some messages from space. In 1961, two Russian radio hosts got this message coming through the radio station. It's a woman's voice and it said that it might be a Russian astronaut. In the message she says, I'm hot, I'm hot, I see flames, yes, re-enter, I'm breathing oxygen. However, the origin is all speculation, as there is no exact information. It sounds like it could have been a transmission from the first woman ever to go into space, but we'll really never know. Number four. The Walking Dead. Back in 2013, people in Montana got a huge scare. A message came over their emergency network, a warning that the dead was rising. I feel like people in Montana probably got excited. It's basically just target practice. But this was obviously a hoax. I think if the dead came back to life, it would be something I would remember. A hacker managed to access their emergency broadcast system and pulled a prank on the whole state. This is like top shelf pranking. I don't know the guy who did this, but bravo. Number three, Vladimir Komarov. What are some of the most dangerous jobs out there? You got ice road truckers, deep sea scuba divers, crab fishermen, basically any job TLC will make a show about. What about flying the first Russian spaceship right into space. That has to be high on my list of hard pass. Well, Vladimir Komarov was the lucky duck who got to fly this bucket of bolts into the unknown void. On the ship's inspection, there were over 200 reported problems, but the Russians were keen on beating the Americans in the space race, so they decided to ignore the pesky safety report. Vladimir knew that he would most likely die if he took this flight, but he took the job because if he didn't, the Russian military would force the next best guy to do it, which was Vladimir's best friend. He took the job to save his buddy. That's a real bro. Like ride or die. Like ride so you die. Upon re-entry, he sent out this message. The spaceship was so poorly designed that the heat buildup ended up killing Vladimir. But not before he sent out a message cursing all the people who put him in the spacecraft. He went out like a G. Number two, alien message. Back in 2017, a local radio station in Wolford Heights got taken over and started playing this message. Zero, 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 six. It continues like this for a little over a minute. One of the weirdest parts about this is where the song titles usually display on the dashboard, it changed to the word hello. People think it was aliens trying to reach out. I guess they think we like binary or something. Number one, Area 51. I don't know if you guys listen to talk radio, but it's basically podcasts before podcasts. It's usually pretty lame, but this one is amazing. In 1997, radio talk show host Art Bell received a call from someone who claimed to be a former employee of Area 51. I won't say anything else, you just need to listen. What we're thinking of as, as aliens, Art, they're... Uh, 
They're, they're extra dimensional beings that... We can't play the whole clip here, but he goes on to talk about how aliens have infiltrated the government, they're planning attacks on major population centers, and then the broadcast mysteriously gets cut off. Listen to the whole thing, it literally gave me goosebumps. Well everyone, that's our list. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those things I always tell you to do. Oh, and the little notification bell, don't forget about that. If you know more about the Area 51 caller, leave something in the comments. I would love to read all that creepy stuff. Until next time, I've been your host, Chaterena, and I'm going to stop talking about aliens before they come after me. Bye.